Hello Paranormal Explorers, it's Exploring Harley. Hey, welcome to another video and thank you. Thank you if you watched the other one, if you liked it and if, you if you're subscribed to the channel and if you're not, please do so. Take a couple of seconds and hit the subscribe button and uh, tickle that bell, all right? This video is a little bit special. It's a short one. That's why I'm doing this intro because I'm going to tell you the story about this, right? I was going to a cemetery. I had the pen, follow my GPS, going to that pen. And when I came to the pen, well, it was woods, woods and bushes. It, it wasn't even close to the pictures that I've seen on, on the internet. Look at the, look at the pictures. Okay. You see what I mean? So I uh, was there, so I thought, well, what the heck, I did do like an hour and a half of driving to go back home with nothing and nothing for you guys. So I checked on my GPS again and I've seen that close to there, there was another cemetery. That one was called the Moor Cemetery. And it was a small abandoned family plot. And I thought to have, like, uh, I would have some activity over there. I had a little, probably because the spirits didn't know me. Didn't want to be bothered. I don't know. I had a couple of responses. So, if you're gonna send a video, like, you can pull up your, your own conclusions. Uh, it, was, it wasn't really conclusive. So what I say, it was short. I was there about an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half. And the activity wasn't like that crazy. I wanted to do, to go to the other one, the Maplewood Cemetery, because the Maplewood Cemetery was built over, well, a native burial ground. That's why I wanted to go there. So, that video is going to be next week, all right? The day I'm going to be filming at the 12 Yale prison, all right? I won't, I, I won't be there probably for the premiere because I'm going to be like setting up for that big investigation. But, but I will go by, back to the Maplewood Cemetery to investigate it, but I hope you enjoy this video and don't forget this video is sponsored by yep you know it the Queen of Heart Shop the Queen of Heart Shop and the Exploring Harley line all right go check it out the link the link is gonna be in the description go check out the Queen of Heart Shop q08shop.com all right enjoy the video hey how you doing paranormal explorers I'm not speaking really loud because there's people around. I'm in an old abandoned cemetery near a town near Saint Lucien, Quebec. And uh, yeah, just take a look. Take a look at this, at this plot. It's kind of like a family plot. It's all overgrown. I got a couple of cat balls down. I got one right here. Got another one right here. Got my cake table over there. Tombstone. Hey. Right. So just hope we'll get any communications tonight. The 
the moment there's nothing much. I think it's just a family. We're fishing down by the river. Is there anybody from the Moore family who wishes to communicate? Got a device over there, a green light. You can touch it just to show that you're there. I got two balls on the ground. It will show me again that you're here. I mean you no harm. My name is Jeff. I'm just here to investigate. To know if there's life after death so feel, feel free to use those devices to show me that you're here and use the energy of the river if you need it to try to communicate you guys i'm testing out that this cemetery tonight i haven't been here I never tested it. It's the first time. Just found out of that pen. So, just testing that cemetery down tonight. There's cars passing by. It's dirt road right there. And that's not really common here in uh, Quebec to have dirt roads. Just like a little family plot right there. It's very unusual. So. Is there anybody from the Moore family who wishes to communicate? I think they're shy a little bit. They don't know me. I know you don't know me. It's the first time I've come here. I just come to communicate. See, there's a couple of broken headstones. I'm really sorry about that. I'm not here to vandalize anything, I'm just here to communicate, that's all. Please feel free. Touch one of my devices. Green light on the tombstone over there. Or the balls on the ground. I have another device here. It's called a ramp pod. You can come close to the antenna and will show me right here, just like that. Thank you. Thank you. Can you do that again? Can you touch the antenna again? We're doing good. Don't be shy of the camera. Just want to see. Go into black light. There we go. Just want to know if you're here. That's all. We're doing good with the ramp pod. Can you do that again? Go near the antenna again. Just like that. You were doing good. Just like that. Exactly. And you do that again. No? 
Okay. Okay. Can you do it again? Please? Okay. Oh, thank you. That was interesting. The K2 doesn't appear to be catching anything. So the brightness of my K2, you guys. Is there anybody from the Moore family who wishes to communicate tonight? Curtis? Mr. Moore? No? If I put my device right here. No? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Can you do that again? It's not my cell phone because I don't have my cell phone. It's in the car. So. Oh. Thank you. Probably me a bit. Gonna put it right back here, right? Right here. So, feel free to play with it. Don't want to play with the other one? We're doing good before. Like that? Thank you. Thank you. Grab onto the antenna. Increase some temperature, right? Okay, you're playing with the temperature. Okay, that's good. That's good. Can you play with any other toys? On other devices? Okay, I know you can play with the temperature. Can you try to touch the green light over there? The other one. No? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you do it again? Please. Okay. We'll just set this right here. So everybody can see and we'll break out Spirit Talker. Airplane on. Let's activate Bluetooth. Airplane on. Go spirit talker. Come later for Got a box here. It tells words. You can use your energy in this box, and your energy will be transformed into words. So feel free to use it. 
just speak out. Mr. Sharp, right here, head. Okay. Yeah, put it on the head of your headstone. Yes. Your headstone. Feel free. Mr. Sharp, Mr. Daniel Sharp, who sadly passed away on October 12th, 1808. 76 years old, Mr. Sharp. Do you have anything to say? Fortune? Did you have a great fortune? And you lost it? What is it with, your for with the fortune? I don't know anything about your, your family, about your story, so I, I, don't, I want to learn. Please feel free. Somebody was seeming to like the rampart over here, but kind of quiet now. Who's speaking? My name is Jeff. I'm a paranormal investigator. I want to learn about you. Can you touch the green light right beside the box that you're using to talk just to show me that you're here, please? Just a slight touch, it won't hurt you. Anything here will hurt you. Everything is armless. It's for me to use, for me to communicate with you. That's all. Can you touch the green light? That would be great. That would be awesome. Daughter, are you buried with your daughter? There's a frog climbing the tombstone. Look at that. There's a frog climbing the tombstone. It's creepy. So if the K2 spikes, <laughs> it's the frog or the toad. You have a toad on your headstone. Does it bother you? Sorry. Call? Daughter, call? You want me to call your daughter? Are you buried with your daughter? And more. Mrs. Moore is the daughter of Mr. Moore. You were his uh, son-in-law. Look at that, the toad is right there on my K2. Can you touch the toad on my K2? Nana? Okay. You're looking for your Nana. Sorry, but... No. Oh, yeah, right, you fucking frog. Oh, wait. Shoo. Shoo. Oh. Please, Mr. Shard, feel free to communicate. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Well, 
touch the balls on the ground, the rampart on the tombstones, the tombstone right next to you, or the green light on your tombstone. Feel free, please. Anybody. Break. Okay. Break what? A break who? Break a branch in the forest? Go ahead. Seem to be quiet all of a sudden. Sad? Yes. I'm sad. I'm sad to see that you have broken headstones. Yes. It's, it, it saddened me to see that people are, well, that bad persons. Okay. You're not really talkative, right? Won't provoke us. No, I won't provoke you. Don't provoke us. No, I, I'm not provoking you. I'm just, I just want to communicate. That's all. If you feel that I'm provoking you, well, feel free to touch one of my devices to, to, to trigger it and I'll go, okay? Just touch the K2, the rampart or the cat balls behind me and I'll go. But I'm not provoking nobody. I just want to communicate. Sick. Did you die of a illness? Well. We'll touch the rampart again. Can you try it? We're seeming to like the temperature gauge a little bit earlier, earlier on. What's that? Forgive my sins. Okay. To have sins to... To have forget, right? Cat ball, thank you. Thank you for the cat ball. All right, that's a start. That's a start, thank you. Okay. Gloria. Okay. I don't really know if there's a Gloria around. Probably, I have to check on the headstones. I'll go get another device that will help me to help you answer questions. Okay? It's gonna it's called a yes no prism. It's a triangle with lights and it will help me determine well, if you want to communicate or not, okay? So,
Thank you. Thank you. Cat ball, rampart, thank you. Okay. Footsteps. Yes, I'm walking. So, I'm going to put it right here. Seem to like the rampart. Larry. Okay. Hello? Chairs. Okay. When that triangle stops blinking, on one side you have a green light, on the other side you have a red light. So, if you want to answer my questions, just go to the green or red light. Do you understand? No, this light over here. Decrease. Mandy. It's getting colder. Cat ball again. Cat ball again. Crap freaks me out. Hello? Okay. Can you use my device to answer? Yes or no? On this side, it's no. On the other side, it's yes. Camera, yes, I have a camera. This device will help me show that you're, you're still here with us. Just feel free to use any of my devices. You used the cat ball, you used the ram pod, didn't use the K2 yet. Can you use the triangle? Your legs. Can't really do anything about your legs. No. That's it. I can't do nothing about your legs. I'm sorry. Did you lose a leg? And you bled out, that's why you died? Can you answer? Can't ball again. Drop in temperature. You don't want to answer? Dangerous. Well, I'll take my chances. Can you show me any sign that you're here? Any sign? You haven't shown me nothing conclusive yet. We're family, yet yeah, your family. Yeah, I know, that's your family plot. You're all family.
So you want you want answer, Mr. Sharp, or anyone else? Anyone in the Moore family? Well, okay. Cat ball again. Ramp pod. Temperature sensor. Hand? Yeah, my hand. Took my hand and I reset the ramp pod. But you don't seem to want to communicate tonight, so I will back up and leave you alone.